Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to mix um, insulins, mainly the, the two insulins that you will see in practice that are mixed is going to be your regular uh, humulin insulin and your um, intermediate acting NPH or N insulin. Those are the two that you can mix together. So one is um, short acting and one is intermediate acting. So if you have both of them, you just want to inspect the vials just to make sure they, everything looks good. You don't see any clumping in there or particles and both of these look really good. So again, before I draw up any medication, I wanna make sure that I check that I have the right medication and I'm gonna draw up the dose before I go ahead and um, do my three checks. Um, after each um, draw up, I'm going to make sure that I ask another RN that the dose is correct. Um, it's a high risk medication, so you want to have two RNs verify the dose. So I will draw up the first dose. I will have um, my RN, my peer RN come in, double check that, and then I'll go ahead and draw up the next dose of the, um, the next insulin. So here we have two, and I'm going to go ahead and just um, the NPH insulin, you, it's cloudy as you can tell, that's normal. You just want to make sure you rotate it a little bit just to get it um, all mixed together before you draw it up. Okay, and you're gonna note that I have an insulin syringe. Uh, what is important about an insulin syringe, it always has an orange cap, and um, you don't wanna use an insulin syringe for any other medications that you are giving. It's only used for insulin, so that's very important. You also wanna note that it, it's in units. It's not in milliliters or milligrams, so make sure it has units on it. It comes in various um, sizes. This one is a um, 50. Um, unit syringe and um, basically we have a total of a half a milliliter in the whole syringe. It's a 29 gauge. It doesn't need to be very large gauge and because it's only going in sub Q and it's only half an inch long, which is, which is appropriate. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to open up our vials. And if you didn't wash your hands, make sure you wash your hands before you get started, just to make sure, and make sure you have a clean surface to work on. And I have my MAR in front of me, and I have my alcohol wipes. So we're just gonna go ahead and do our vigorous scrub on each one for a total of 10, 15 seconds. You're gonna wanna use a separate alcohol pad for the other vial. Good. All right, so when you're mixing then, again, you take your insulin syringe, you open it up. All right, so I'm going to be giving uh, five units of the regular and I'm going to be giving 10 units of the N. So as with our other medications that we, we drop from vials, we're gonna inject air into the vial. Um, so what you're going to do is since your needle wants to end up in the regular insulin last, because that's the one that we can easily see and measure, it's clear. So our needle is gonna end up in there last, okay? So we're gonna inject the air into the MPH first, and then we're gonna go ahead and inject the air into the regular, and I'm going to draw that up right away. I'm gonna do my check on that, and then and when I'm done checking to make sure it's the right amount of regular, then I'm gonna go ahead and finish drawing up the MPH. So to begin my NPH, I said that I was giving 10 units of NPH. So as you can see, it's very similar to other syringes. It's just very hard to read. So the top of the, the plunger is right on the 10 unit mark there, if you can see that. All right, because that's how much NPH I'm gonna be giving. So you can take the top off. This one is nifty because you can just set it right there to keep from cross contaminating it and you can go ahead and inject those 10 units. Okay, now I'm gonna do my five units of regular. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my air drawn up at five units. And then I'm gonna go ahead, inject that into my vial of regular. And then now I can proceed to draw up my five units. Sometimes I just take out a little extra because it gets all the air bubbles out. And then you can see now that I have five units of the regular. And I'm gonna bring my assistant in here, my assistant RN, 
and she's going to double check that I have five units of the regular. So I have regular insulin here for Sylvia Vasquez. She's getting five units. Okay. And here is my five units, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Great. So now I'm ready to go ahead and inject uh, or draw up the N. So this is the tricky part because you cannot put any of this regular back into this vial. So you have to get right on. So you can't push that syringe up and down. You got to just pull out what you need and be done. If you draw out too much, then just discard it and start all over again. All right, so I'm going to have to go down and that top line is going to have to end on the 15 as you can see. Okay. And my assistant here, RN, Kim is going to make sure that I am at 15 mm -hmm. and I have NPH insulin here for Sylvia Vasquez as we both look at the MR. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and this can go right into the um, cap, as you can see, so I don't need to mess around. And then I'm ready to inject my insulin to my patient after I do my checks. All right.